Welcome along people to another one of my little videos and welcome to a very windy Anglesey. We are here for round three of the FSRA F2 Sidecar Championship. You join us in a very busy holding area with three different classes. Join us after the intro for the start of race one. riding with Peter Fans and Jevon Wormsley as they make their way to the front of the grid for the start of race one. Corner first lap. We got Founds and Wormsley, Harrison Winkle, Jackson and Robertson third, Atkinson and Middleton in fourth, Schofield and Colbrook in fifth. So I'm going to continue on with Founds and Wormsley for the opening lap, just see what those guys are doing. And then for the remainder of the race, I shall concentrate on the chasing pack. I shall return though to Fans and Wormsley for, well, so we can see them cross the finish line. Lap two and we are now on board with Chris Schofield and Shane Colbrook chasing down Atkinson and Middleton. I think uh, Chris fancies his chances here. Smoke coming off the sidecar wheel as it locks up going into the left hander. And the sidecar wheel in the air. Who said sidecars are boring? of lap three of ten and Chris Schofield and oh hang on they go from fifth to fourth round the outside bloody hell Chris A 
ahead of us there's been a change of position for second and third uh, Harrison is now third and Jackson Roberts are now second Unfortunately, the Ramsden's overheating issues continued at Anglesey, forcing them another DNF. So we're midway through lap 7 of 10 and Atkinson and Middleton have just come back past Chris Schofield and Shane Colebrook. My word, it's all going on. Is it me or does Chris Schofield have absolutely no sympathy on the engine of his outfit? Just listen to it. What can I say? An absolutely supreme performance from Jevon Wormsley and Pete Founds flag to flag performance joined them as they round the last corner to take the checker flag outstanding gentlemen ways back up the road in sixth place you're now riding on board with Brian Laria and Arlo Brown Right behind Chris Schofield and Shane Colbrook on the latter stages of lap 10 and keep an eye on Shane and Chris. Oh, yep, there he goes. Uh, trying a little bit too hard there, Chris, I think. And Brian Alario inherits fifth position. Chris doesn't realise Shane's gone yet. So after all of that, in cup class, in first place, Rob Atkinson and Mark Middleton. In second place, Brian Alaria and Arlo Brown. And in third place, Paul Riley and Jody James. Over to the Supers. And in first position, Peter Founds and Jevin Wormsley. Second position, Michael Jackson and Jake Roberts. Third position, Andy Winkle and Conrad Harrison. And now, as Monty Python would say, for something completely different. I normally wander around the different garages and pit boxes and, uh, and try not to get in the way of various different teams. And I try to ask intelligent questions. So I found Brian with a laptop attached to his motorbike, and um, and I asked some some questions. So here we go. Tech talk with Brian Alaria. You're an anorak like me. You've got to love this next piece. Brian was the FSRA um, practice session. That's all I thought. Just so I know, I've got terrible memory. Just so I know what it is, and I can refer to it. The other thing is, uh, so is that for tuning the engine or working out what yeah, the engine's can, doing? Yeah, you can, um, I mean, this gives me a general... So that's basically the fastest lap. It gives me everything like RPM, in this case, um, throttle position, oil pressure, oil temperature. The list just goes on. I've got loads and loads of pages. I think I've got about, 200, about 256 items of information I can pick up off it. Um, and I can literally zoom right down into literally a hundredth of a second. So it's, it's a brilliant system. This is what makes you go faster. Essentially, right. the more you learn this, you know, as, as well as track, you know, learning the track, that this so makes you go faster. Is that more tech, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's link motor. So if I pick, um, let's for instance say, you know, right. let me pick another lap. So I've got a one seventeen eight there. And I've got a 118. So if I pick that, what I can do then is I can basically, I've got a variance button on it. I eventually pick it, sorry. 
Uh, that's my variance. So that's my difference in between how. Uh, so obviously, I'm at equal speed there with the two laps, and I'm getting slower and slower there. I've picked up a bit more pace there, and I'm losing it again there. It's probably because of the back more, because we had because there's quite a few few people on there, and a lot of traffic. So, so you can see where I've instantly gained. Um, say like a tenth of a second going up that way you know and I can see where it is on the track so if I pick an area like that I can instantly see oh my God, the right. so is that the track down the done yeah that is yeah it is then yeah, I'll, just is generate, I'll just generate a track hopefully oh I'll have to go into another section I'll have to go into another section, but yeah, basically it will draw the track right. for you, um, oh, and it'll put properly. you can you can you can put your own sectors in, or it'll break it up into sectors for you. Um, and because of that, you know, you can see where you're losing speed. Right. If you you can even go onto Google Maps and put this information onto Google Maps and see what your line is on the track. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah, and I'll show you that later on. It's oh, yeah. really, really, really good. Wow. Um, quite a clever system. So you can see where you're running wide. Or, yeah. you know, it's not mega the accurate, yeah. but it's a help. Right. Every, you know, everything, every single thing helps. Um, so yeah, it's just great. So like I say, it's, so what I'll do is I'll shut that down now and I'll analyze it, shut the power supply off. And then um, that's it. And just check everything else from there. Fabulous. But yeah, cool. Unfortunately, the weather on Sunday morning proved to be far too wet and far too windy for competitors to race, so the officials decided to cancel the entire event, and we all got an early shower. But I am slightly concerned about the duct tape on Steve Ramson's head. Unfortunately, Lee Crawford, Scott Hardy, Team ARC never even got a race after blowing an engine in the previous day's warm-up session. Hopefully they'll be back stronger than ever at the next round. If you've liked this video please leave it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to ding dong the notification bell and that way you will never ever ever miss another episode here on the Mad Leprechaun. Until next time take care.